Okay, for, for me this topic about the whole alien Nephilim thing, um, I've noticed Alex Jones has not really gone in deeply um, enough with it. Uh, this is one of his most recent ones, um, a so-called alien covenant, you know, with uh, Roosevelt um, going all the way back to about that period. And, um, well, let's just hear what he's got to say and we'll just comment as we go. Illuminati religion, they must tell you what they're doing to you so that metaphysically you have a chance to fight back against it. And they must also condition your subconscious mind, which is more advanced than your conscious hundreds of times, to become comfortable with the fact that this is all part of a process. If your brain understands something, it tends to evolve or adapt to go with it in a Confucius way as grass bends to the wind. But if you're evolving to survive, that's one thing. This is evolution to destroy us and must be resisted because it is de-evolution. Now, the New York Times and others will undoubtedly come out and say, Alex Jones believes in UFOs. Alex Jones believes that space aliens created Earth. When it's the New York Times itself in the 80s, the 90s, the 2000s, and even this year that is pushing the fact that this theory is the majority theory believed by genetic engineers and other scientists because the deeper they get okay so this is obviously a topic that's um <clears throat> really controversial and it's coming to the forefront more and more and obviously wrote starstruck through inspiration of the holy spirit which um revealed uh, a lot a lot of uh, these issues today which are revealed also in the book of enoch and uh well, in fact, in the Bible, so um, this is in fact uh, extremely important. You know, I've been listening also to Steve Quayle. Uh, one of his uh, most recent books is uh, "No Flesh um, Be Saved," which is just uh, a quote from Jesus Christ in the last days. That unless the, you know that the, the last days are cut short, no no flesh shall be saved. So. Um, as Christians were in the business of saving souls, of course, and were instructed by Jesus Christ not to fear them who can kill the body, but him who can uh, both destroy the body and, and, and uh, the soul in hell. And, and that's, of course, God. You know, um, Yahweh is him who we must ultimately fear. And uh, Yahweh is, of course, uh, at times mentioned as the God of the Jews and some of the Christians. Hallelujah. And so, uh, you know, we're dealing with uh, concepts here um, that probably most people um, just, just go right over their heads. And in to the genome and into this planet and into this creation, the more they are sure of the fact that we did not originate on this planet and a bunch of amino acids in the ocean four billion years ago did not combine to then replicate and turn in to this complex system we see today. I am telling you that this is the governing belief of the ruling class on this planet and they already see themselves as a transcendent species that has broken off from us who are guardians of the galaxy. And I bring up Guardians of the Galaxy that came out a few years ago. Very funny film, very entertaining. But again, there's a star child who's half human, half alien. They tell us this myth over and over again. Jesus Christ, born by immaculate conception, implanted by God, has superpowers. Okay, now, he just said that myth mentions this myth. Um, now, I don't know if he's relating um, star children, which are... Uh, crossbreds or hybrids um, of the, the fallen angelic children of the Nephilim um, which a lot of Christian commentators go into and the Bible does talk about um, but he, he does actually relate this to Jesus Christ and all the major churches and all the major systems are there to basically give the general public a dumbed down version while they themselves behind the scenes the initiates have all the information so what is he saying? Is he saying that the churches are actually teaching that Jesus Christ is a a hybrid star child, you know, a, a Nephilim creation? Um, now, if you look into the Latin of the Catholic Church, um, in the Mass it talks about, they actually talk about Jesus being the son of Lucifer. I mean, that's a whole pagan 
<coughs> cult. I mean, it couldn't be any further from Christianity. It really is um, paganism. Um, and obviously, the Catholic Church have announced that you don't need to know Jesus, or the, at least the Pope has. You don't need to know Jesus to get to heaven. Um, you know, that uh, they want to baptize aliens, which are, of course, Nephilim, but they don't tell you that. So again, like Alex Jones, I don't think is is is, is telling you a, a lot of information about this, and I think that this is this is one of his weakest links, I would say, um, and 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 this whole debate. And as as time goes on, as these end days unfold, you will see how important this is, my friends. Um, you will see how important this is. Everybody's been up and down with Alex Jones. He does speak a lot of truth. He does come out with a lot of truth. He's recently at the Vatican last week. Um, you know, talking down um, Pope Francis and all of that, rebuking him for a lot of things uh, that he said and, and, and done. But to me, this is the, the link that um, most people are missing just now. They don't take this seriously, but I can guarantee as the end times unfold, uh, this will be paramount. This will be very, very important to understand. And now for the biggest secret that's hidden in plain view. Just like the advanced humanoid in Prometheus that takes the genetic manipulation and physically dies, but reseeds the planet with the new mutation, we are being sacrificed in this huge experiment. There are thousands of studies in the last 20 years admitting that GMO crops and GMO vaccines and other systems are purposely changing our DNA and mutating us. Okay, I mean, as I say, this, this is a lot of good facts that, that Alex Jones comes out with, but again, um, I'm not sure if, like, if Alex Jones is part of the elite. Um, as recently, um, a video from Richie from Boston um, talks about Alex being part of a, a Jewish cabal or his family being part of the CIA and all of that stuff, you know, Catholics in action. But, um, it's, it's, it's just a topic, you know, is, is he part of it or is he exposing it? Or is he simply just an announcer for the Illuminati about what they're doing? Mr. Uh, Jones, and, and to prove it, if you don't believe me, have all your listeners pick up a book and read called The Protocols of the Learned Elders of Zion. It is not a hoax, sir. It is not a forgery that the Jews maintain. The gist of it is that the Jews are out for world domination, and they have it now in the United States. You know, I never get what, what forgery means. Well, I mean, it's written like a comic book. I mean, why, why would anybody uh, write something down like that? But it's real. And Henry Ford, who's my... Okay, so I was just about to comment there. He's... He's sort of covering over this uh, document that came out back in the Second World War or before that called The Le Learned Elders of Zion, which of course everything that's written down there is, is actually came to pass, which which includes uh, plans for the Third World War, okay? So if you're a real initiate, um, you're going to know that that document is real. A lot of people try to link The Learned Elders of Zion to the, to the Jews, obviously, because it sounds Jewish, but the thing is... Uh, they discount again the Jesuits that they're they're probably um, far more likely to have produced a document like that uh, because the whole structure of it goes back to the Atlantean conspiracy and how to structure governments after um, you know the seven heads and 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 the ten horns which is mentioned in Revelation which is me mentioned by Sean Ross in a, in a video that I uploaded to the channel um, last week. My hero in the international Jew during the 1920s, I'm sure you're familiar with Mr. Ford, he made the protocols famous, and in the international Jew, he pretty well much rehashes what the protocols said, that the Jews control world finance, the media, now they control all the, the, the U.S. foreign policy. Well, I mean, really the Jewish bankers are sort of bankers for the Vatican, they're, they're in it together, um, uh, so the so it is, it is a worldwide um, conspiracy, you might say, involving different groups. Um, so you can't really say it's only the Jews who are involved in this. They, the Jews, Mr. Jones, have inflicted tremendous harm upon the United well, States. Let me ask you a question. From your perspective, uh, should the Jews be gotten rid of? Yes, they should. 
in every country. All right, I'm going to stop you right there. I'm going to stop you right there. I mean, Alex rightly stops him because um, nobody wants another Holocaust. Um, I, I, I wouldn't support that personally. And so, you know, whether Alex is from a Jewish background or not, it's not that important, but uh, it's just how he, he he's just defending certain things. He's not, he's not clear on certain things, especially to my mind, of course, um, this whole topic uh, about the Nephilim and the fallen angels, I think is very, very cloudy with regards to um, the general public understanding really what's going on. It's a, it's a spiritual battle, obviously, it's in the Bible. Um, um, never mentions really goes into great depths about the Nephilim, you know, and this is this whole alien um, deception. If you don't really know the basics of of the Bible, the other thing is here. Um, Sean produced this video a few years ago, and let's just let this run. Have a look at this. I want to see a Swiss system. So again, the Swiss system is based on the, the you know the seven heads and the ten horns, the seven um, ministries, as it were. Uh, I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. It's like this stuff here. Uh, I know people that have that have bought this stuff, and this this stuff is is, is sort of like taking. I, I would liken it to taking raw salt. You know that you give to a dog. You, you know you give to a dog to make it really vicious so this this stuff really pumps up your it might pump up your immune system but a lot of people get really pumped up like Alex Jones is just pumped up when you see him on on doing his shows um, he's, he's you know um, so I, I think that these days people need just need to chill out a little bit um, and and he's getting people pumped up full of this stuff this chemical stuff from wherever it's from I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. Plan is getting bigger. What? A good person has sent me this. Excellent. This is octagon everywhere. There's a G. A, uh, the Templars G. You know, hidden in it. The Swiss Templars Cross, the All-Seeing Eye, Octagon. This is uh, yeah, the Swiss Cross again. It's Alex Jones's stuff with a V of the Templars. It's all hidden in here. And here too, the Templars Cross and the Swiss Cross in the middle of it. And I'm very sure you'll find more things in it as well, you know. It's all hidden. Symbols don't lie. And this guy here who's supposed to know all these things, he's telling us about it. I mean, why is he using it? Hey? Eh? It even says, you know, this is quite cynical. Open up your eyes. <laughs> so cynical. Well, we are opening, opening up our eyes, mate. I want to see a Swiss system. I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. The God, the God, the plan is getting bigger. Yeah, super male vitality with the, uh, the, the, the Ku Klux Klan Swiss cross on it of the Templars. So super male, this makes you a super male, uh, like, a, like a super male Templar or what? I mean, I wouldn't mind being conquered by Switzerland right now. Very interesting, he says exactly this, because this has already happened, and he must know this, otherwise he wouldn't say it. He's initiated, this is fifth column, Swiss sleeper cells, and he's going, he's preparing you here. God, the plan is getting bigger. What? I want to see a Swiss system. Ha, ha, ha.